All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this war of mine. And the latest DLC. So I am brand new to the game, guys. If you have been watching my channel for a while, the closest comparison to this would be Frostpunk, which is from the very same creators. However, if you are new to the channel and tuning in for the first time to check this out, welcome. I will warn you, I am not an expert and I have very minimal experience playing the original This War of Mine. However, it is a game I have always wanted to play. Good morning to the live stream viewers, Chris, Ethan, Jay, Mr. McBonkers. Thank you for tuning in. So let me talk about the game and, and we'll get settled into it. Like I said, if you are brand new, I have played Frostpunk before, uh, but I know this is a very different game. I'm not that familiar, but I did get some practice time in. The important thing to note is this is out in a couple of days. It's out on November 14th, so we're playing it early, which is exciting. And one of the great things about this company is their DLCs are like dirt cheap. This is like a couple of bucks. So if you own the base game, which I think is $19.99 or $22 bucks if you're Canadian like myself, yeah, for a couple of bucks you add a whole new story. And I think they've got some new gameplay features, but for me this will all be a, a first, well not quite, a second experience playing. I spent a good couple hours yesterday getting into this DLC and getting an idea of how it might work. Not trying to make a fool of myself. I played the latest Frostpunk DLC, Fall of Winter Home, the day it came out, and thousands more people watched it than had watched any of my previous Frostpunk stuff, and they all went, oh, damn, I thought I was watching someone who knew how to play the game. So warning up front, I do not know how to play this game very well. The stories mode are excellent. We are going to be telling a story from beginning to end, assuming we decide to play this all the way through. We're calling this a first look. Um, Malik and Esma live in an abandoned broadcasting station where Malik used to work as a radio host. His wife jokes that the mortar shell which destroyed their house has fulfilled his secret wish. Now he doesn't have to work at all. Although war has scattered the radio crew to the four winds, Malik keeps broadcasting the news which Esma gathers during her searches for supplies. The words of truth he can deliver to the people of Pogoran are as much for him a livelihood as the food hard won by his wife. Their son, Adem, enlisted when the war broke out and they no longer talk about him. Okay, so we, uh, if you've played this game before, I think you tend to have three or four people. We are going to be starting with just two, one of which is disabled. So Malik here, he cannot do a whole lot. He can uh, broadcast from this radio room and he can listen for news on like the shortwave bands. This is Esma. She is his wife and she's going to be doing all of the work on our behalf. So we need to begin by grabbing the basic supplies that are in our ruined building. Now, the great thing about this game is it tells... Uh, it tells a story uh, of war from a different perspective. You guys have played a lot of war video games and you were always some kind of elite soldier, right? Or you're the commander overseeing the entire battlefield. Um, so these are materials, we're getting lock picks, uh, and then these are crafting uh, materials that we will be using down the road. I have learned the basics. This is an unclearable rubble pile until we get a better tool and this staircase is crumbled. So this whole side of the house uh, is off limits to us. Blocked there. I think blocked at every stage. So, if we come across with Esma, we, we're gonna we're just gonna make sure that we clear up all the junk in the house. Now, uh, Malik here listening, he's gonna have access to just this floor where there is one bed and vinyl records with good music. Okay, so she can look there. That's the bed. This is a crafting station. Let's have a look at this, Esma. And for you, Malik, did you get any news? Let's see if he can broadcast anything. You might start with a piece of news. Threatening letter. Shut your, your bloody cake hole or we'll shut it for you. This is a time of war, guys. There is a trigger warning for this game. I included it in the description. If you are not good with war games and violence, this will have that. People will die. There will be blood. We'll come across dead bodies. It's going to be horrific. This is war. Uh, there are no... Also, to note, there are supposed to be no good or bad decisions in war. Only survival. That's part of the description of the game. Grab take all. So Esma's going to carry as much as she... Oh, I guess we're home, so this stuff doesn't have to go into a backpack. It goes straight into our things. So she's going to clear this stuff out. Grab all. Perfect. And then, like I said, we're fairly limited with Malik, but he is the voice of truth for the people. So he, he can head over here maybe and make some homemade cigarettes or something. I think both our people will smoke if we give them the chance. Now, uh, 
we have two phases of the game, guys. Day and night. Speaking of, there's some homemade cigarettes along with some food, which is great for us. So we will come down with Esma, I think, to this floor, probably. Come check this out. And, okay, so Malik can turn herbs into uh, homegrown tobacco for roll-up cigarettes. So... So let's do all of those. Okay, and then he's he's got to keep himself busy while she's busy. Um, so we have one bed and two people. Every uh, day, um, Esma is going to sleep because she's going to spend the nights out exploring the city. Every night, Malik is going to sleep. We will have no one here to guard unless we decide to. Uh, so we were going to be at risk of getting robbed. I did do a practice game, and it didn't happen until day seven. So I'm going to try and wait till then and see if I know... <laughs> Excuse me, the one night to guard the place. So we got our fridge. I could put a cooking station in here, guys, but then Malik can't cook. So we need to make sure that we put some things on his floor. Okay, so Esma, check this out. What do we have here? A photograph of a smiling young couple. The bride is holding an infant swaddled in a blanket. So their son is one of the soldiers that's making this life difficult. Um, Ethan, I am doing well. Jay says he's really going to enjoy the game. Thank you for that, my friend. Uh, so she can craft fuel out of wood. So she should probably uh, do that. Let's do this. Okay. Because we're going to get a cooking station going at some point here in the near future. Okay, so Malik, you have done your work. Now you can turn all of that into rolled cigarettes. 16. I think that's it. Okay. Get to work, sir. Okay. And, uh... But when night comes, we have a different game. We need to venture out into the city to scavenge, to look for things. And not just things, but news. Malik is trapped in this place. If he's going to tell the people what's going on outside of this place, he needs sources. And the only one he has is Esma. So that is who we're going to be playing as. Where did I put my brush, she said. Okay, so she has successfully... Uh, the next thing we're going to save up for is this. So when she goes out tonight, we want to come back with one more wood, uh, eight more uh, components, and uh, I think that is our plan. For her now, I think we'll send her down to one of these other floors. Now, I think it's basically as difficult. I turned full screen off... <laughs> But the full screen mode, as soon as I click off it, everything freezes up and you stop hearing audio anyway. So I might as well go full screen. It'll make my life easier. That way I can actually scroll to the edges. Okay, so let's head down here into the lower levels of the house. We're going to grab... Perhaps we'll find what we need to make that cooking station. I probably shouldn't have made all those cigarettes. Those use up some resources. But we'll find out. And then this takes us out into the streets, guys. You really can't go in the street in the day. Uh, there are snipers and they will end you. Eight more, seven more, so we'll probably get what we need if I send her down to this basement. We'll clear it out absolutely, and we probably won't have to come back down here uh, unless we end up with a lot more people down the road. So we're going to try and make the most of our first day, full day. Uh, we're playing in an Eastern European city, and it is destroyed by war. I think World War III has broken out, fighting everywhere, and most of the people are just caught up in it, and that is us. Now, we have a specific duty to the people caught up in it as in well as malik we are a newsman our job before this was a radio broadcaster and uh when our house was bombed we came here to live and and since then we have been spreading the news to the people hello blaze welcome to the stream it's been a while since i've seen you on one of these my friend we are trying out uh, have you played this war of mine have any of you guys played it um i wondered if we would see some some new faces because uh I'm only a couple hours after the first time when I was allowed to play this. It's soon to be out. It will be out in a little under 48 hours, I think. And uh, like I said, a very cheap and affordable DLC that will hopefully like tell a story. We'll see. We're going to spend an hour or two uh, experiencing it today, taking a first look. And if you guys are into it, um, it's still not out till the 14th. So we could do it tomorrow and the next day and see how deep into it we've gotten. I'm not sure how much gameplay there is, but it's really only a, uh, it's really only a couple of bucks uh, to get. Let me know what it is in, in US dollars. I think it'll be like $2.99 or, or maybe less. Um, okay, so we have got everything we can. Blocked, 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 on fire. So this is the other side of our house. We will eventually get over there. But for now, and for probably the first week based on my practice playthrough, um, oh, is it important to close these doors? Uh, probably not. Here, 
go here. Um, but we are going to head up. We will put, uh, I think we're good. We're just going to click end day here in a second, I think. Perfect. Uh, so we'll go up. We have a little bit of food. I don't have, I really, I don't have anything to do with Malik these days. He can, oh, he can make more of these. Oh, right. Using materials. We don't have enough materials anyway, so he might as well go ahead and make more uh, tobacco. Oh, that, did I make Esma do that? No. Oh, I did. Okay, good. Uh, stop that. Okay. <laughs> Night. Nighttime landed. Perfect. Hi, Lurker Luke. Welcome. The layout looks like Fallout Shelter. Think much darker. Think much darker, Steve Tony. Uh, so we have to choose the park, the gas station, or the ghost house. Materials and parts. Let's start here. This has got the least stuff, but it's probably the easiest. A relatively safe area, no buildings to attract mortars, and availability of cover discourages snipers. Okay, so we're in good shape here. This seems like the safest place to go. We will take nothing with us. So we have all 12 of our inventory slots, and we will go. And Meister, you ain't missed nothing, my friend. We basically... Oh. Okay, that sounded like a gunshot. Do you guys hear that noise, or was that just me? So Esma is a sneaker. I think I can get up here. I think that's the first place to get. Uh, but we will see. And then down here, I did come here yesterday in my practice run. There was Yes, there is someone shooting. There's a guy hiding down here. So likely not a sniper. It's a guy here. We're getting closer. Dead person. The sniper's probably down this alley somewhere. Wow, just open and fire. Or could be in this building. Could be, and shooting down across like this. I don't know how the game uh, works in that sense. Okay, so let's go back to Esma here. Okay, and loot. I bet we're not going to find much loot here. How are we going to find loot if there's a sniper? Let's go see if we can talk to that guy hiding down in the river. I'm not too worried about him. It was <laughs> the leaves rustling. Oh, okay. A saw and... Six of the materials we need. Okay, so I'm not sure how to get down there. Can you go here? I don't know how to reach that place. Okay, cool. The characters, um, I wonder where they get the faces. You guys think those are like um, backers or something? Uh, this, uh, Meister Master, is this war of mine. It's kind of a dark... A uh, story where it's a dark game where they kind of tell the story of war from the perspective of civilians who are caught up in it. You're not a soldier. You're not trying to win. You're just trying to survive and not die. And we're currently playing as a couple, Esma, who is the only one able to leave the apartment, uh, and Malik, who is a disabled broadcaster, uh, sending news from our broken down flat out into this war-torn city of Porgorin in somewhere in Eastern Europe based on the name. Oh, hello. Hey there, it's wonderful to see somebody. Please, I don't want to go back through the park. Okay, we're good. I did the right thing. I'm glad this guy ain't here to kill me. Like I said, I, I did do I did do the first day or two yesterday, so. Damn sniper is shooting people. Oh god, thank you so much. If you want to get through the park, be very careful. The main alley is under sniper fire. Are you sure? Go see for yourself. You might get through if you're fast, but it's risky as hell. Okay, so one good thing, I don't know if this is true about uh, the base game, guys, but in uh, the stories mode, the two characters we have are so important to the story that that they don't, that if they die, it asks us to restart from the previous day. So we will not have any permanently lost progress. I know for some of you who might have watched me play Frostpunk, you can get, say, seven days into something and go, Oh god, there's no way I'm gonna win this. I'm, w I'm never gonna get hope up high enough, or despair down low enough, whatever it is, so. Um. Alright, so, let's see. Okay. The main alley. That's gotta be this. I think we're okay over here, right? Okay. Hello, person. Watch out, the main alley is under sniper fire. The guy shot two people already. Okay. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Oh god, why? What a bastard. People should know about this. New information gained. Faster? I will make it. Good. Good, good, good. Son of a bitch. Now! Oh, right. We're trying to go between shots. Oh, no! Oh, God. Okay, we're not going back for that guy. Um, he's dead. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're still shooting. Do we think the guy is in this building? He must be across the way, right? Would it be safe to loot that body? I don't know. So one of the cool features, guys, you can look through doors and you get a fairly clear idea of what's available. Am I able to clear this blockage? I am. And the escape is on the far side? No, it's not. Okay, good. We're gonna have to go back across. Well, let's see what there is to see. We're going to hit our, our storage limit here before we get too far, which is why it's probably not worth risking that guy. If that guy had guns, if that guy had valuable tools, those people wouldn't have been so screwed here. I was their, their sort of savior. Okay, uh, so. Okay, so we got to decide what to take with us. These are rare. I did not need this many materials, right? So let's leave some of those here. We will come back if we decide to take them, but I think we're going to find more stuff upstairs. And then we'll look. Oh, yeah. Where are you going, woman? Can you get up here? How do we get up here? Oh, I think she's going to hop on that. Okay, there is stuff up here. Cool, cool, cool. I think we want a little bit more wood to find some rare and special resources. Take. I think I didn't need this much wood. Okay, we can definitely take this water. And then electronics and parts. We'll, again, we'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, let's see if I can get this without too much trouble. If she tries to go outside, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, perfect. So let's have a look through here. Sniper, it's a pack of herbs and vegetables. Oh. Okay, try, key, lock pick. No. Water, do we take the two electronics parts? I don't know what they're for yet. Probably. Let's go get the other one before we go. I would have to come back here to figure out how to open the stupid door. Uh, or, or bring a lockpick is the answer, but we didn't have any more. So, let's get... Where were the electronics? I don't think down here. I think they were up here. Um, oh, and I missed a lot of chat. Thank you, guys. Good morning, Terrell. Thank you for tuning in. SMS Reflection. The main park alley came under. Pass message to Malik. Oh, it's late. It's 5 a.m. Oh! I took too long. I took too long. Okay. Um, I, I am doing well, Meister Master. Thank you. And for those of you guys, if you're watching the replay, I am live streaming this. Hello to a few of my patrons in chat. Hi, Moon Gal. Toning Unifex there. And who else? Terrell. A few of you guys floating around, I think, are patrons. Either way, link in the description if, you, if you'd like to be. The night was calm. Some problems. Esma will be back soon. Okay. Let's hope we have a story to work on soon. Uh, do you, are you able to broadcast that, or is Esma just running? She, we have to wait for her to get back. Okay, guys, so you gotta pay attention. It's 6.30 a.m. Once the sun is up, snipers are out and can see every movement of people. So Esma's gonna be very, very slow and careful getting back to make sure she doesn't die. We still have nothing from Malik, so uh, we're gonna listen. And then, uh, and then maybe he can do water filtration? I don't know if we can do that yet. We will see. But when Esma gets back, we'll put her in this bed. She can stay for the day. Um, one, one thing, one of the reasons that I wanted to uh, stream this, guys, is it is a bit of a slower paced game, as you can tell. Uh, sometimes you're just kind of chilling and waiting for people to complete their tasks. Um, oh, and, and you're good. You're good, Minion. Do not, do not hesitate. Blaze, you think the guy was in that building? Um, 
Yeah, I usually drop it, Steve Tony asking where I notify. I usually drop it in, hold on a sec. Oh shoot, you're gonna stop hearing music here. Um, you, you, I usually drop it in uh, Discord, link for that, of course, in the description, and then I also tweet it, but I didn't do that because it looked weird. Uh, send that right now. Your tweet has been posted. Okay, back in the game. Sorry for the lack of music and the freeze screen we will be in in a second here. <laughs> Resume. Okay, it's time for an update, but I have no news to broadcast. So, so we wait. We go down here and we wait for Esma to return, uh, I think. Because we should broadcast this news today. There, she is back. So, Esma is back. Brought 20 material, 8 of this. Bam, bam, bam. Good. So, she is going to be tired. Did she get wounded? Slightly wounded. Okay. I wonder how. Probably on the on getting back. I don't think we had that when we left. So she is going to go here and make the cooking station. Uh, he is going to broadcast. And then we'll put the cooking station up here. Malik can cook. Esma can sleep. And then we'll end our day. Broadcast news. Residents of Pogoran, make sure to avoid St. Timon's Park. It is no longer safe from snipers. Several people have already been shot. Okay, so we as Malik are doing our job. We are spreading truth. We will save lives with that message. And that's the whole thing here, guys. It's not just survive. We actually have a, a feeling of hope in this game, which I think is often lacking. Oh, she's exhausted, eh? Tired. I made it without a single scratch? What you talking about, woman? No, you did not. Go here, please. Get up and get to work. What are you, tired or something? Um, Meister Master, in the game, in the base game, I believe you get more people by, um, going to those places, finding little quests. Like, I think a kid will come to your door and say, hey, can you help my mom? And then you go try and find the mom. Um, we are going to craft this immediately. Uh, drag and place on an empty destination somewhere on the main floor. Right here. Okay. That way Malik gets to go to work. And she can actually go straight to bed now that she started that project and he can complete it. And then he'll cook soup. Uh, so nobody's even hungry yet. We need to keep an eye. Oh, she's hungry. Interesting. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on it. We'll try and feed them together. I think you can spend two days hungry before you become very hungry, uh, etc. Um, Meister Master asking how you get more people. I have a feeling with this DLC, with this uh, Esma and Malik, we don't. I have a feeling it's a two-person story, but we will see. That is how this thing will unfold if we decide to keep playing more. Um, I will become your patron when I get my uh, Christmas uh, bonus. Oh, dude. You don't have to do that. It's your Christmas bonus. You work hard, hard all year for that nonsense. But that said, I care less and less about YouTube ads these days. I like to just play, share it, and if people want to support me, they are welcome to. So, we can make food. Two portions of food. Do it. And we've already listened. She's sleeping, so as soon as this is over, we're going to click end day. I know it's only two in the afternoon, but we'll save that for Esma to eat when she hits very hungry. Okay. End day. Perfect. Okay, okay. What are the requirements for running this game? I don't think it's much. So we did the park. We feel pretty good about the park. Gas station, ghost house. The man who lived here used to give shelter to people in need. He died or fled after his home had been ravaged by mortar fire. Uh, since then, it stands abandoned. And neighborhood kids say it's haunted. That sounds safe. Uh, gas station. This was once one of the very first places people looted while fleeing from the city. There had been a few long... Ceasefires intended to clean the whole area for civilians, but it was broken. Many people died. No one claimed responsibility. Heavy shelling. The station is in decent shape. It may have been looted, but it might be still be worth checking out for lots of weapons. Lots of weapons here, too. Let's hit Ghost House. And scavenge. And she should have slept throughout the day. Healed up okay, but I bet she's going to be slow from the wound. Um, and as for the requirements, the Steam uh, link is just below. Thank you, Blaze. Blaze beat you to it. But the Steam link is always in the description for a game I'm playing. Uh, and if there's DLC, if there's descriptive information, that's all below as well. 
Okay. Ooh, I hear a helicopter or something. Ghost house. Yes, Blaze asked for this last time. Okay, so we will loot. We'll see what can be found here. Okay. Ammo and gunpowder. Okay, so... Let's do a little hop over and peek through. And oh, Okay, there's sound upstairs. There is someone in this. Up here. Let's go down. Let's go down first. There's a ladder that goes through the whole place. Uh, speak through. Speak, peep, peeping hole. Okay, let's open this up. We'll go down. We'll check the bottom. Ooh, it goes deep. What the hell's down here? I wonder if we can get through all of this. Okay. Uh, open. And. Pe oh, it's iron. I didn't. I don't have those tools or anything. I don't have that saw blade. So we'll have to remember that this requires a saw blade to come back. That is nothing. I'll open it. And we'll see if we can hear who's above us. It's not moving. It's not moving. Old man. Maybe it's the old man in the rocking chair sitting up there. Creak, creak, creak. I don't know what it is. Okay, the ghost is home. That's what Blaze says. Yeah, we'll show you about that. Okay, so this goes deeper. I can see this over here. Okay, weapon parts, uh, coffee. Okay, so we can't grab all right now. Let's put you here. Uh, cigarettes, coffee. Uh, oh gosh, how are we already here? Uh, gun parts. Gears. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? The cigarettes aren't that valuable. Take the books instead. Okay. So we're going to hit our limit before we've even fully searched the place. So this is a place to search in the future. Uh, we want. Do we want to check out the upper floors of the house or do we just come back here again tomorrow and, and finish the job? You know what? Let's not worry about the ghost. We're full. We've got a nice collection of gear. Let's click run to exit. Get home nice and early. We get some ammo. I'm sure I could get better stuff. I'm sure I could probably... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on, though. Hold on. Some of the stuff I have... Some of the stuff I have... This, the coffee, the gears, the weapon parts... They can be stacked higher. So I can get more. If they are here, I can take a few more of them with me. That's wide open. There's nobody here. Did I just see... a rat or a pigeon or something yeah it's a rat we're good we're good in the hood okay so food probably hiding in this one a smart thing to do would be to put everything we need in one place for next time like this see that i can take that and that okay so we've got the fridge we've got yeah, we, this isn't bad. We'll come back here and fully explore the rest of it tomorrow. But let's get upstairs and we'll see what else. It's probably another rat. I'm not worried anymore. No, I'm not worried at all. Yes, yeah, a rat. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> no, thankfully nothing too scary hiding here, guys. We did find a nice abandoned location. All right, hello, rat. This is where the old man sat. This is what I was picturing, an old man in this chair. Dear Subira, when I managed to reach the country, we thought to be safe, but it was plunged into war. Don't worry, though, I am fine. I write this letter waiting for a man who can smuggle me to safety in his boat. I will then apply for asylum, and as soon as I get it, I will bring you here, and we will pr be together again. Away from war and misery, hang and pray for me, Kofi. Those languages make it that, that make any sense to that accent. Uh, okay, so see? This is why you keep checking. Four is the max, so we do have to... You know what? Then, then let's leave... Oh, wait. Those won't stack. Okay. You know what? Let's take this. Like I said, guys, we'll come and finish the loot job here tomorrow. This is a safe place to come. We don't have much to worry about. We will have confirmed that it's only rats inhabiting. I can force the locks. We should bring a lock pick if we have one. We didn't get one today, and I don't think we have one at home. So we won't come back here tomorrow. We will come back here when we can pick the lock. Let's make a note of that. 
And for those of you watching the replay, thank you for hanging out. I'm not sure how, how many people will find their way to this, but it's our first look. We're kind of playing through the game live. I've got a few of my viewer, regular viewers hanging out and watching. And we are on to day three. And home. Now, I did play until somebody came to my door. So I wonder if that was today or tomorrow. Um, okay, so... We have got Malik. He has cooked food. He is now hungry. She is still just hungry. So, if we take Esma, she can... Does she need to do anything other than sleep? Just sleep. You, Malik, you're going to have to listen to this, and if you don't get any news off the wire, then we're going to have to do something different. Lockpick. Which one, which one was the saw for? Blaze, do we need the saw at that location? We did, yes. You're right. You're right, we did, in the basement there. So we'll have to come back down the road, see if there's worthwhile stuff. And then is that the best place to use a lockpick and a saw? We'll probably find others while we wait. What's up, Malik? <laughs> I like the accent. Well, Blaze, you're from Europe, right? Did I sound like any sort of European? It's, I think I started trying to be, like, maybe a little bit more Czech, but I ended up just, like, a straight Bavarian German accent. Prussian, almost. Not that I'm that good with accents to identify them. Yes, that's right. Thank you for that, man. I will remember that on my notes. So, Esma, hungry, tired. She'll be fine for tomorrow. Find some news, Malik. Find some news. You got anything? The smoke is what I need. New transmission captured. Perfect. All right, so watch this, guys. Let's click on... Oh, no. Okay, click on Malik. All right, Esma, wake up. Sorry, this is the day. Okay, so this is as far as I made it in my practice run. All right. Was someone knocking? Yes, they were. I thought he would have a smoke. Huh? Okay, well, Malik, go ahead. Broadcast your news. Like German. Yep, that's what I thought. Sort of like Northern Prussian Germany, if anything. Broadcast news. Static. C-23, can you hear me? That damn radio broadcast compromised by position, and people stopped using the route through the park. Someone has to do something about that rogue broadcaster over. That's a received. So there's nothing to broadcast. Bummer. Okay, so um, Malik is hungry. Uh, so sh we're just going to come down here. We'll see if there's any trading to be done. We're in okay shape. We could probably use one of these, but we're not wounded. Um, okay, so, got any news? Oh, not Malik. Malik can't come downstairs. Coffee is becoming impossible to get. Won't be any deliveries till the next aid drop, and when will that be? No one knows. So the price is going to soar. Okay, uh, so can I broadcast that? Where are you going, woman? Come back. Talk to this fool. Coffee price. Broadcast it. All right. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Okay, so while she's doing that, uh, you can head here, Malik, see if there's anything to do. Thank you. I heard your warning about the sniper in the park. That used to be my daily route. You probably saved my life. What good work, guys. What good work. This is why you feel good about this DLC. You're not just... Okay, so he has for sale a pick. What would you want for that, sir? Water filter and fuel. Fuel's easy. Fuel's easy. What do I have that's like a little more rare? Got these. Medications. Taste is terrible, but they can save your life in sickness. Should probably save that. Um... Books. And alcohol? Alcohol. Oh, that's very generous of you. Alcohol's okay. Good to know. Uh, things get easier when you drink it, or so it seems. It's a good trading item. Yeah, we don't want to be drinking that ourselves. So what else can we get for a lockpick then? Probably not this. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to do drugs for medicinal. Won't do try harder. Okay, so all the drugs are worth a lot. Uh, 
food we can find, water we can find, this we can make, that we can make. Huh. So maybe we save this as another trading item down the road and we give up one, two, and uh, that. Okay. There you go. So a little water, some gears, some books for a lockpick. Okay. Uh, and I think that's it. We'll see you later, bud. Hope the snipers won't see me. Okay. What am I doing? Go inside. See you later, pup, bud. No, no, lock it. Close it. Close it. Please. Close it and go to bed, Esma. Please. Sleep. Okay, what are you blabbing about up here, Malik? You got any, you got any doing anything important? Poor Malik. I shouldn't, I shouldn't give him any hard time. Coffee? Yeah, I thought about that, but he, he already... I tried that yesterday. He already wants an insane amount for coffee, so it's better if we just scavenge it and sell it to him, I think. Buying it to sell it to the guy who tells you it's going to go up in price, it, did, it didn't seem to work out well for us. Okay, so the only thing we can do is more tobacco. Make it all. And then he can roll more cigarettes. We'll eat tomorrow. Esma's sleeping. Uh, as soon as she gets to bed and as soon as he's done making cigarettes, we will click end day. It's two in the afternoon. No, no other news. But we have done news day one, day three. And if she goes tonight to a, the new location, the gas station, I bet there's news there. Because we haven't unlocked any other places and we didn't get any new news at the ghost house. So if we don't find news at wherever, then yeah, yeah. This will end soon, I'm sure, Malik says. Yeah, we'll see about that. I think you guys are survivors. You keep going strong. Okay, so I thought I made tobacco from herbs. I did not. Okay, what about this? I can't do the water filtration thing yet, can I? Although we got lots of water, I don't need to. I just thought I'd check it out. This is our medical storage. This is our fridge. This is for crafting other stations and furniture. Okay, so yeah, you can... Okay. That's it. Let's call end day. And we will go night number three. So, hungry, hungry. 12, 12, sleep in bed, scavenge. All I can do with him is sleep. He can't scavenge, he can't guard. So, she will go to the gas station. Only location. Either we use the lockpick and get part of what we need here. Use the lockpick and get... We could finish off the park. That was a lockpick deal, but let's do the gas station. I'll take nothing with... Yeah, I'll take one lockpick with me. Ah, if we don't need it, though. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. We'll find out if we need it. Let's take our first pass at the gas station. We'll probably need a couple like we do with the others. Try and find some coffee here. Esma. Looks like people had drained it dry since it didn't blow up after the shelling. Okay, so we'll be very careful, guys. What do we see? What do we see? Nothing yet. Broken down vehicles. Gunfire. Light gunfire. I could... Well, it's a city at night in war. Oh, wait. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, God. I should have looked through first. Oh, boy. Idiot. I meant to click look through. Okay. So, look at this effect. An empty magazine from an assault rifle. Soldier must be nearby. Soldier must be nearby. We got this. And we got this. Okay. Oh, it's barred from the other side. Okay, so if one of these is a rat and one of these is a soldier, we'll figure out which... Oh, come on, I stopped seeing the light. Okay, she hears it again. This is C-21, do you hear me? Over. My truck broke. I'm stuck with supplies by the gas station. I request assistance over. Okay, should I go? Where's he going? Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Shit, battery's dead. Can we hear him again? Is he coming my way? He can't come my way. I'd be trapped. They wouldn't do that to me. I'd have to run outside and leave. I bet he goes the other way. Because I can't get through this way. Yeah, yeah, I just saw his light move. I just saw his light move. Shooting. Shooting. I hear shooting. Let's see what we see here. Where is he? Ah, oh, where'd he go? Down or up?
I'm going to be very careful, guys, because the only way to get up there is to go in and climb that ladder. If he went up on that roof to, like, overwatch the whole thing, then we got to be super careful. Let's see if we can spot him through here. I should be able to see pretty far if he came down this way. I can see really far. He must be on the roof. I should not be where I am now, probably. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know where the guy went. I'll get ready to run to exit if all goes to hell. But I think our only option is open this door, go up on the roof. I'll look through it again to be safe. Maybe he went up and he's coming back down. I was just so worried he was going to come back through my door. No, he's not here. He must have gone off that little ledge, if I had to guess. What do we see here? What do we see? Trace? Some military papers. Supply manifests. Puzzling. Delivery of food and supplies to Bagel's place. Uh-huh. That's how- There he is! I got him. I see him. We're good. Okay. There he is. I couldn't see him from all the way out there. Let's get this. Uh, go here. We'll lose sight. I'm effed, he says. Okay. Keep an eye, keep an eye, keep an eye. Here he comes, here he comes. Okay, so he's under us now. What, what's he gonna do? Reopen this door? It's the only thing I think he can do. I should have closed this door. Oh, that's a sign. He, if he sees that door open, good lord. I wonder. He's right under us. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So. So I need to go down. Yes, yes. Like that. Close. Close. I need to go here. And I need to keep an eye on him. Yes. As he walks away. How far are you going to walk? This is a hidey place. Get in it. Oh, no. You know what? Let's back. Let's go back this way. Let's, uh... Unbar this door. It's gonna be our clean escape route. He's walking the wrong way. We've got a body or crates here. Okay, he's out of sight. We okay, he's out of sight, so we gotta move fast. Get this open. Do I have time to search both these spots, you think, guys? Oh, because this is trace of me returning too. Should be able to see him coming from far away, further than he can see us, it seems like, because he's not expecting us. Nothing but useless trash. Still don't see him. This is tense. Grab all herbs. Exit. Uh-huh. What do we got here? Hidey hole right here if we need it. Some crates with military markings. Still don't see him. Let's go down. Oh, there's a person. There might be a person down there. Oh, do I have to run? Oh, it's a rat. Thank God. Oh, wow. That scared me bad. If he comes back and sees that I've taken that door... Okay, we're full on stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll take this. I think I'm going to leave the sugar, because that's one simple item. We're going to take this. Do we run for exit now? Probably plenty of fuel. Fuel on the other side of these bars. So we need a saw for this place. More sugar. More water. Leave the wood. Take the sugar. Leave the herbs. Take the food. Grab this last bit of sugar. And then we have to going to have to be very careful. Because we got to climb this stupid ladder not knowing where he is. So we'll take this bit of sugar. I'm going to go here, and if sh I have to click run, I have to click run. Okay. You know what? So we found the thing out about the gas, but he said about a truck. Not much time left. I must go back. Run. Okay, run. Run, run, run. So we still have to find a truck, too, I think, right? Didn't she say that? we got to locate the truck? Okay, Esma's back. Good job, us. What is the goal here? The goal is to survive, I guess. Look at me. Uh, it is a war game from the perspective of the civilians. So your goal is just don't get killed. Uh, as basic as that sounds. And thank you to the folks 
folks watching. We got 17 watching live right now. 45 minutes in. There is plenty of fuel in the basement of the gas station. Okay, so she came back with lots of supplies. The night was calm, so she's very hungry now. Is he? He's still just hungry. Okay, so if she goes here first, let's see what new things we can craft. Malik, we, we already have some news, so you might as well broadcast the thing about the fuel. I don't know if we got the info about the truck. I think there's more intel to be gotten at that gas station. Um, that is the general goal of the game, look at me, is to survive. But we're playing the DLC called The Last Broadcast, where we play as this couple. We have Malik, who is a news broadcaster. Okay, what is this? A simple heater. A metal workshop allows us to make tools. Yes, this is the next thing. This is the next thing. Make right now. Uh, and can I put it somewhere where Malik can use it? Um, no. No, I have to put it somewhere where only she can use it. Oh, well. Uh, let's put it here. Hey, Lurker, thank you very much, my friend. A little, little super chat action. Um, there's always a link at the top of a live stream description, guys, for another um, another way to donate. I always like to mention, I will never discourage you from your super chats. They're fantastic. Um, but a um, dollar fifty of your $5 goes directly... Is that the math? Yeah, dollar fifty of your $5 goes to Google, and three fifty goes to old UTC. So if you use the other link, yeah, the... The ratio is a little bit better, but uh, uh, it doesn't pop up in chat. You don't get the little colorful notification. So that's good to know. So let's take a look here at what we can craft. That's Malik, idiot. Let's use her. Where did I put my brush? Okay, so she can now craft a pry bar, which will probably replace that saw blade, lock picks, a pickaxe, which we need to open up our house. So let's do that next. So she's going to make that. Malik, why don't you scan the radio? Uh, Esma will eat and sleep, I think. Or do we wait till they're they're more hungry than this? I don't know what the negative effects are of this. She might just be able to go to sleep. We'll save that food for another day. B yes. I, I've been mentioning it of late. YouTube will do that with everything, though. Twitch is not a whole lot better if you're not a partner. Um, Patreon is a company I really like. They take 5%. YouTube's 30. Twitch can be 50 and the other thing about Super Chats is, is that would come to me on December 21st, Lurker. YouTube holds it until December 21st. Um, if you do it with another site, it happens right away. So YouTube's a bit of a... I mean, I love the platform. I love the opportunity to sit here and, and broadcast to you people just like we're, we're pretending to do in the game, right? Um, I, love, I love to share my love of gaming with you, but um, YouTube can be a little bit greedy sometimes. So I've been mentioning it of late. But you're you're wonderful. The, the, and you know what? Just watch. Click the like button. Subscribe. You're you're wonderful people. Okay, so we've listened. We've broadcasted. We've got nothing to do. Uh, Malik could roll cigarettes from what we made earlier. How's our supply of that stuff? We got 18 cigarettes. I think they are fine. I should walk the city and look for some news. You can do that tomorrow, darling. You're sl or tonight. <laughs> All right. So Esma's gonna sleep. We are gonna call it a day yet again. We'll move on to day five. Or the night of day four. Oh, yeah, and don't worry about it, Lurker. I think you should. we should still get the notification. I should... Yes, it all looks like it should notify. But, but if you ever do it that way, I want to make sure that it's just as rewarding for you guys. You see this big green thing on your name, or if you do a crazy donation, there's crazy colors. And that's how long it stays up. YouTube, it's a, it's a neat system. It's just the sad thing is that they like... They think that they, they get it all. Okay, so... There, there might still be something important to broadcast. So we're going back to the gas station. What should I have brought with me? Did we come across anything? No, right? That we needed to bring with us? Oh, I forgot to do this. We'll do this during the day. Uh, we'll, do some, we'll do some clearing out of our apartment. So let's scavenge and take nothing with me. Cyanide. Survival, basically. Wish it didn't have a time limit. Right, so the story mode, I'm kind of the opposite, uh, Cyanide. I, I'm, the idea of an endless game for me as a, uh, as a content creator, I'm like, well, when would I ever feel done? In this method, um, <laughs> the sad thing is that, that they like money. Yeah, we all, well, we all do. But they, they, they get to choose how much of it is theirs. 
which is never fun. Okay, an empty magazine, so we know that. Do we come right back up here and look out the window? Is he going to be in the same place as last time? And I wonder if we can kill this guy, and if we should. Okay, so he's not where he was last time. He's down here. He's down here. Okay. I think we go through. I think we go through. Keep an eye on him. Or is that a rat? Is that a rat or a man? If it's a man... Oh, it's a man. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Shh, quiet. Shh, quiet. Uh huh. Found the supply truck. Think I can kill a soldier? Oh, God. If he walks back this way, he's a dead man. If not, I'm going to get in this hiding spot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Esma might die, but... Uh... Again, again. Get him again. Get him again. 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 Again, one more. Yes! Oh, God. Oh. That was fantastic. That was exciting. Okay. 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 We should be able to take his gun, but I don't think that's a thing. Let's go out here. Let's see what there is to find. We're going to find all the loot. We should be safe. I think he was the only soldier. Uh, any more loot out this way? God, that was thrilling, wasn't it? Are you not supposed to do that? Should I have just played been cool and no i have not played that game look at me um i have a couple on my on my to-do list this one obviously it's it's not a anywhere in terms of the gameplay style it doesn't match at all but in terms of the vibe and the mood this is kind of close to Frostpunk, which same developers i have another game i want to play that would be closest to of all the games i've played the council which is a I can't loot this. This was lootable last time. He might be. He might have looted some of this stuff. Uh, the Council is a story-driven game with some kind of RPG elements, and I have another one of those. I thought there was all kinds of stuff to loot here. I can't scavenge during com Oh, idiot. I can't scavenge during combat. Oh, I'm stupid. I just wasted so much time. I, th I forgot I still had my fists out. Okay, I don't think we have to be quiet anymore. Let's be quick. 1.40 a.m. Uh-huh. And we can search his body. Excellent. Okay, be quick, UTC. Be quick. Dynamic? What's going on, brother? Hey, I just got a little thing in the mail from you today, my friend. How, how's Dwayne? <gasps> Look what we got. We got a rifle, guys. Oh, we are in such better shape now. If we leave that with Malik, I wonder if he can stand guard, or do we take it? We take it with us, I wonder. Keep an eye on that clock. Okay, so, so we got to put some stuff back. We have wood at home. This is a rare opportunity to get valuable resources, food, electronics, a gun. Um, we'll leave all that stuff. Let's check this. This is the truck, right? A damaged army truck. It must have hit something. It's full of crates. Judging by the markings, they must contain military food rations and supplies. Okay. And this trunk, he, I saw him search this trunk, I thought. Oh, yeah, we left stuff there. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. One of the cool things, guys, I will show you as we... Here's the truck. Plenty of resources. Uh-huh. Let's go down here. We'll get what we forgot last time. Perfect. And we'll have to come back with a pry bar. Or we'll just let people know to come get the fuel. Oh. The gate is open because we broadcast it. Oh, cool. We broadcast the news about that fuel, and this has been opened up. That's wild. I don't know what I just grabbed there. Okay, materials. We will take... Uh, okay. We'll take all that water. Saves us having to do any purification down the road. Fuel? 
Okay, we gotta come back again, guys. We've got to come back again. Okay, so let's leave... Uh-huh. I'm gonna just pick the things to take with us. We'll take this. Uh, I will... Check here. And then we'll get out of here, I think. Okay, I need a lockpick. So the only two spots that we have any stuff left are here and here. What are we leaving, just so that I know for sure? When we come back with the lockpick, we've left wood supplies, gears. Uh-huh. And yes, another new game, my man. Yes, I got it. It was, I was so mysterious. I was like, is this a mystery? Has somebody sent me some kind of mysterious clue? I was trying to be like, who do I know in that part of the world? Why would they be sending me a little, little piece of mail? Anyway, very exciting. All right, let's get out of here, guys. We did it. We did a good job. We killed a soldier. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. <laughs> the truck was full of supplies we all desperately need. Okay. Esma is back. And yes, that was exciting. That would almost make me want to take a little break right here and call it. But we're an hour in. I kind of want to keep messing around, guys. 18 of you watching. I'm kind of having fun with it. A couple of super chats rolling from Lurker and Dynamic. You guys are amazing. And a few of my patrons, uh, Blaze and Minion, obviously Dynamic's one of them, uh, hanging out in chat. You guys are great. If I, I'm missing them. Okay, tonight I found out there's a broken down truck full of army supplies at a burned out gas station. I relate it to Malik. I brought back guns and bullets and all kinds of junk. I'm a badass today. Okay, so we have a crafting station here. We have a weapon crafting station here. Malik is now very hungry. I'm going to wait. Why don't you scan for additional news just in case we can save the uh, gas station thing for tomorrow or, or something. I don't know if that's even smart. We should probably spread the gas station news ASAP. Uh, so how is she doing? Slightly wounded, sad, and tired. Sad because she murdered a soldier last night. So we can make new beds, new chairs. We can make fuel out of wood. Uh, I don't know how many I have. In, you have four. So I don't need to make any. Okay, so she can also go here. We're stocking up on medical supplies really well. Uh, we've crafted the pick, our, this thing already. Uh, let's make a crowbar. Homemade tool you can use to pry open a few doors before it breaks. Does the job slowly and loudly. And a knife. Could make a knife. We don't have a ton of wood, so what do we do? Make the crowbar. Might as well make all these tools, right? Uh, remember to clear some stuff around the house. I will, but uh, only if Malik can do it. I don't want Esma, while she's sad, tired, and wounded, to be digging. I'll see if Malik's able to dig this one when he's done with the news. Probably not, based on the fact that he's not very good at walking, but we'll, we'll see. But yeah, we play a duo. Malik, the broadcaster, disabled, former radio man, trying to spread news to a... a Frightened and terrified public being mortared and sniped on a daily basis. Um, crowbar and a shovel. Might as well do that. A small shovel for picking through rubble. Is that the same as the pickaxe, I wonder? Okay, so let's see about... Ah, uh, maybe we can put Esma slightly to work. How long is this job going to take? We'll find out. We have to broadcast the news about the blo broken, broken supply to... Learn to talk, idiot. Okay, let's go find Malik here. Pardon me. Broadcast, sir. Tell the story. Tell the world. Slight, still just slightly wounded. Okay. So broadcast. Okay, we have two. The rebel government forces are involved in violent skirmishes throughout the city. Some areas have been completely cut off, while others witness heavy fighting. That's kind of old news. We'll save that. Residents of Pogoran. Good news. An army truck full of rations and medical supplies. Story related. So that is us telling the story. There's more to it. That bagels, that thing about bagels, excuse me. It's so tiring. This is exhausting. I could use some sleep, right? You need to do this when you're fresh and recharged. So, Esma, go to, go to bed. Malik, are you capable of doing this? Chances are no, but we shall find out. And another reason that I love live streaming this one and I thought to live stream this is because, like I said, it's a bit of a slower pace. Sometimes you're waiting on an injured woman and a disabled man working alone after a long, tiring night to dig out piles of rubble, right? 
<clears throat> so she very hungry, very hungry, slightly wounded, sad, tired. Oh, I don't. I should have bandaged her, shouldn't I? I'll save that for a heavy wound. We'll see. Recovering. I think this is good. Good job, Malik. Arms work just fine. Okay, so he will be tired by the end of today. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait this out. If you guys have any questions, definitely lay them on me, and we'll uh, we'll keep up with this game. So far, so good. We can take a look at some of our, our stored up supplies. Twenty two on the materials, eight on the wood. Got our gun and bullets. A teddy bear for trading. We've got fuel, alcohol for trading. Sugar. Probably for recipes down the road. Electronics, gunpowder, empty shell casings that could definitely be converted to stuff. We've got the pick. We've got the crowbar. We've got a lock pick. And then supplies, cigarettes, medicine. More cigarettes than you can stack and a little bit of coffee. It's pretty good. I think we're in decent shape. Oh, did he not continue progressing while I did that? If I click end day, what happens? I probably have to wait for him to complete the task, right? Blaze fixing broken pipes at my mother-in-law's house. Oh, what, what a good man. Taking, taking care of his wife's mom. Yeah, this would open up. This would open up two of the three floors. That are off limits. Yep, good job, bud. That's what I would do at this moment, too. In the middle of a war, digging rubble piles in my own house. I would stop and have a puff. <laughs> Might be doing some uh, arc soon uh, to check the new DLC. Yeah, it's real fun, man. It is real fun. I've had a good time with it. We help lives by letting people know about those supplies. So is Malik just done? Is this like a, a, a part job? So he's now tired, right? Okay, so let's end today. The night. The night, the night. Okay. Very hungry, slightly wounded, and sad. So, look at all these new locations. Warehouse. Let's, let's check it out. This used to be a warehouse of a big store. Currently, it's used as a hideout uh, for a group of armed thugs. We might find useful things, but it's very dangerous. I mean, I, gotta, I can go in guns blazing now. City center used to be beautiful, with parks and squares and monuments surrounded by old buildings. The war has taken its toll on the area. Okay, let's hit Central Square, I guess. All right, we will take with us, I think. I think that's wise, right? And then this. And this. Do we take all that stuff and just bring back less with us, but be safer and get into better stuff? Or do we... Only take this stuff when we know for sure that we have something we want to break into. Let's just take the gun. Let's just take the gun and see what's what out there in the world. Look at me. I've officially run out of space on my PS4 to play Ark. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, looks like people had drained it dry. So we'll have a little scout around. We're going to get underground here when we can. And you know what? We're going to hit our supply limit pretty fast if that's the kind of stuff we want to take with us. The real goal would be news. I, I, I should be more fresh blood on the ground. Something happened here recently. Okay, so let's bring out the weapon. Let's hop down here and hope that this is not where all the death is waiting. So see these guys? These are these are uh, you can hide and shoot out from a location. Looks pretty safe as it stands now. Okay, is this just a hidey spot? This is a dead end. Why would they put a hidey spot here? That worries me. <laughs> that means this is like a somebody would come this way or something. Black Ops 4 is huge. Yeah, right on. Well, don't people ever buy discs anymore? I guess people just download everything. Digital, digital versions. Okay. 
I hope, I mean, we're probably missing stuff on the surface, right? A person. How much longer will we wait for those bloody intelligence guys? Okay, so there's news here right now that we need to know about. And this is great. We'll have avoided coming at them head on. And we'll be appearing behind them. Although this door... Which direction is this door messed up from mine, right? Yes! Get it for free digitally. Yeah, I think my brother had that set up. If you know one friend, you can kind of swap PlayStation accounts back and forth and share all each other's games as long as one guy's offline. I think that's how it works. I wonder if that's what you mean. Unless you have a bunch of YouTube subscribers and they just give you the games based on that. Okay. Okay. They are effed. It's just a matter of time when they'll spill everything. Prisoners. If the guards see me, I'm dead. These are the prisoners right here? Where? When are the intelligence guys coming? Okay. Let's get up here. This is where I saw people before. One guy. One guy. Okay. These guys haven't moved. No one's moving. Yeah, but once the interrogation team is here, these punks will confess everything or die. If we could find the prisoners, guys. Close. Anything to scavenge? No. Scavenge. Look here. Oh, moving. People moving down below. Information. It's signed bagel. It's signed bagel. Okay. It must be somewhere. They're looking for something. I'm almost sure I saw it. If he didn't talk in his sleep, I'd have took him for dead. Okay. Open and we can sneak past. Close. Search. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. This man is sleeping. The prisoners are all on the other side of this doorway. Uh, take... Oh, I'm at max bullets. Okay, put this wood behind. Why am I worried about teddy bears? Go through here. I think we're probably safe to go through here, being that there's a soldier in this room. But keep in mind, if anything were to happen now... We are pinned in. This is where they are. This is our prisoners right here. Nothing worth taking. I don't know what to do. They sit crammed in a cellar and can only wait for till they're taken for questioning. God, are you okay? What's going on? Help us! The soldiers locked us up, but some effort called the bagel told them that we are rebel supporters. Uh-huh. Tell me more! Oh, that's it? Is that it? What's happening here? Okay. Oh, they keep asking us for contact among the rebels, but we don't know anything. The sun's rising. I gotta move. They keep asking about our... Okay. The sun's rising. I gotta move. Stop talking, you bunch of idiots! They're going to torture us, please. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. Clock ticking. Uh, run to exit. Let's just see what happens. Run to exit. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. She's, I'm being chased. We're good. We're good. Esma's reflection. I've discovered that the armory is torturing some people suspected of helping the rebels. They'll most likely be killed if they're not okay. The dawn has caught Esma. Oh, that was so close. Oh boy, we could have just stayed in there, I guess. Is that what would have happened? We would have had the same effect and not risk being shot. 
You will need to take down those two guards. Yes, I thought so. I thought so. Day six. Esma scavenge. Didn't bring back anything useful. Really? I brought back nothing useful? Very hungry and slightly sick. Probably from lack of eating. Go ahead and eat some soup today. And Esma's back soon. Slightly sick. Interesting. I wonder if he will feel better. Okay. No, no more helpings for you, buddy. And she is slow to get back because of how late we stayed out. That is scary. That was a, that was a play. Like, that took time. Next time I'm in the sewers, I can sprint through them. I know that. Um, I was very careful. I had my gun out. I was looking for loot. So we, we can do, we can do better. I presume the rebels will free them. Oh, yeah. If I broadcast it, you mean? Probably. But if these people aren't rebel supporters, why would they risk a rescue mission? If these are just civilians that have been misidentified by the bagel. The bagel is our enemy, which is going to hint to you maybe by the term bagel that it's a Jewish person. I would think. Is that what they're... I learned that the army is holding some people at the central square. I told Malik so he can summon help. Emma had been searching for supplies. Oh, yeah, I brought back... Oh, because I see why. Because I didn't make it home. All right, so Esma. Oh, God. She is... Tired, starving, yes. Okay, so this is what I was waiting for. Go eat. We'll keep her keep her at bay. Keep hunger at bay. I don't want anybody to starve to death. Got anything extra there, Malik? I always like to scan the radio. And we will see. Nothing. Okay. Oh, that's not asthma. Asthma. Uh, what did I say? Sleep? No, soup broadcast and then Malik can go do some more digging I think assuming that the sickness isn't a problem okay broadcast we just did the army is holding and brutally torching innocent people if anyone who he hears this is able to save them please hurry there's no time to lose okay so that is not going to be good for us the army is going to come down oh, on us eventually Oh, hold on, Esma. Hold on. Stop. Stop. I know you're tired and wounded. Hold on. Got a dude at the door here. Perfect. Malik, you know what you got to do, buddy. Uh, go open this up again. See what you can do. That is nice, slow progress, but we're getting there. Yes, hopefully a rescue operation is, is underway. It's going to happen. Here's our buddy returning. Okay. No news for him this time. Still has coffee for sale. I have coffee to sell. And I could get back what? Can I get one of these for it? Okay. See, there you go. So he does like coffee now. I wonder if I should have gone crazy to buy his coffee last time, but... Um, gun parts. Okay, so we want... What, uh, what does he have here? Canned food. Cigarettes. This is good. This is something that we will have trouble coming by on our own. This. Can use it to mix gunpowder or other ingredients. Okay, so he wants something else on top of that. Okay, so that's very generous. Okay, so a couple of coffee beans will do the trick here, it looks like. Okay, so four coffee beans and alcohol. I wonder if I throw in a fifth coffee bean. If he does this. Yes, he does. And he will also give us... What else will you also give us? Won't do try harder. Fine, we have a deal. Okay, so we got a water filtration. We got a little bit more food for soup. We have medication and we have a gunpowder mixing thing. And all we did was give up some coffee, alcohol, and a little bit of, little bit of oregano. <laughs> Although, you know what? Now that I think about it, Herbal, herbal cigarettes. I wonder, that's, that, I wonder what you're rolling into those. Okay, see you later, bud. Uh, go, go eat Esma. Good job, you were gonna tap out. This is gonna be what? Five day or a four day process? Good job. Good job, bud.
Esma seems to need more food. This is exhausting. I could use some sleep. I bet you could. Okay, why don't you see if you can do some cooking for us, my friend? Uh, once Esma has eaten. And the water filtration means we can make our own water. I think I'm going to do what Esma... Oh, get some food. Yeah, good for you, my man. I'm just thinking about the same thing myself. I didn't do a good breakfast today. So I probably have another 15 minutes or so left in me. We'll hit just under 90 minutes with the stream. She is still very hungry. This can be upgraded. Oh, yeah. One hour. Let's upgrade that stove. That's great. Maybe someone help these poor people. Let's hope. Let's hope that somebody's willing to help. Um... So we're going to try and go out with Esma tonight. Tomorrow night we will stay in because that was the one night I got raided in my practice run. So. Okay. So he's going to make a little herbal tobacco. Okay. And Esma, sleep. See you play. And you, sir, roll some smokes. Perfect. How's our water supply? Lots. Lots of tools. Got the gun, got the electric parts. Siege or not, this is still our home. We have chairs, but we could use an armchair. Oh, we have one bed, but we could use more. It's hard to get a good night's sleep. No, we don't need that. We've made a radio and we like listening to it. We really miss books. A really good book could help us forget the horrors of the war. Cigarettes per day, three. Good for you guys. That is incredible restraint. We've breached, uh, we have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe, and we have to constantly be on guard. So, chairs. Esma could make those down here. After this, Malik's gonna cook again. And I wonder if he should take this. Herbal meds. I don't know. The second bed seems... I think a lot of people, when they have, say, a group of four, they will only have three beds. They never have all four people sleeping at the same time. And that's generally the case. Consumables. Done. If I had more fuel... No, I need vegetables to do that. I should have bought vegetables. Okay. Vegetables are a big part of this soup thing. Okay. Esma, eat again. Actually, you know what? Sleep. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. And we'll call we'll call this a day. Okay. So hopefully she is in decent shape and tonight she will go out. She will check things out and we will return to the central square, do we think? I mean, we definitely didn't loot the whole place, right? So if those prisoners are gone, the soldiers might be gone. That's one thing to note. Um, we're going to take this. What did I come across where I would have wanted? I don't think anything, right? I don't want all the ammo. I need to save that inventory space. Okay. I think this is good. Let's take this with us and let's go. All right, guys, we will, we will complete this day and, and maybe the next. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm drinking uh I, I've been uh, I've been easing up my coffee consumption. First thing coffee consumption on an empty stomach is very stressful for your immune system. Uh you have a natural uh, immune response, cortisol spikes. So I've been trying to do coffee after breakfast after a solid breakfast and i've been trying to do coffee uh, with some emulsified fat like coconut oil and that disperses the release of caffeine throughout the day for you okay so let's go down here anyone above me this time i don't hear anybody so okay look what's happened what has happened Seems like there were some casualties on the rebel side as well. It was a bloody affair, but at least they rescued those people. So now we're back. The place has been cleared out. I should have attempted the rescue on my own, but I wasn't ready for it. 
if I play this scenario again, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to go to Central Warehouse uh, when we play this game next. If we play this game next. Uh, if you like it, be sure to let me know, especially if you're watching the replay and have the opportunity to leave comments instead of just chat. I would have a pretty good idea of what people think about this. I think I will play it tomorrow morning and the next morning and see how far into it we are. That'll be the day the game comes out, so we will have some decent press for it. And then I have another kind of story-driven game I'd like to introduce. We're going to keep doing ARC. Uh, I have done... I don't know three videos three streams something like that since aberration came out and i was doing two a day the first couple of days they got rescued someone heard our broadcast let's see about getting upstairs hopefully clear looks like it There's nothing to scavenge. This might have been a bad call. What is this? Okay. And this was a dead end, right? Yes, it was. So, let's go up here. I think we're alone here. Okay, not a bad call. We will leave with some stuff. And an interesting selection of stuff. We'll have to choose what to leave back. Veggies we need at home, I know that, so... What is this? Thermoregulator. Oh! Oh, cool! Tobacco food... Fertilizer. Leave the herbs. You know what? Let's empty. We got a lot of stuff here. Let's empty everything but the gun. And we'll come back and we'll grab this before we go. Um, time is it? 1 a.m. And then that way at least we'll have the, the most of most things. I hope there's no one here now. I'm really looting the crap out of the place. God. Okay. Something's blocking the other side. Okay, so... Uh, got a little stuff at the top of the staircase. Uh huh. Bathroom. So we'll get the best of everything. Lots of wood. Leave it. Only dirt and trash around here. Okay. So. I'm going to take two of those. Okay. So, we've got a little wood pile here. We have a little stash here. And what was up there? I can't remember. I don't think we can get there. Not yet. Okay, so. Thermoregulator. Take it. Uh, bullets. One, two, three, four, five. I think I might have to leave that one. Right? Uh, materials, gun parts. Take them. Uh... I guess I'll take food, the tomato, supplies. Okay, that's it. Oh, I can take two tomatoes. Uh-huh. Okay, I think that's it. I think we go. Yeah, it's tough to know when to stop here, guys. There's so much stuff. I mean, you could really just keep going. 
I don't know what we need, you know? The whole goal is the news, right? And there was no new news here except Operation Successful. I don't know if that's going to be something broadcast-worthy. Uh, what did I say? Did I not say Extinction? Yes, that's what I meant, if that's what you're talking about. The, the latest ARC DLC. I've been playing that a bunch. Did I say Aberration or something? Probably. So day seven is the day in, in, in the practice run where we got... Uh, hold on a sec. The night was calm. Esma's been searching for supplies. Brought back interesting things. Okay. Okay, so... Food, zero vegetables, so cooking broth isn't a thing. She is still very hungry. What about Malik? Slightly sick and recovering. We kind of need that second bed now. Hold on a sec. Uh, hold on. Go here. Stop, Esma. What you doing, woman? Go here. Let's go make a bed and a nice chair. Uh, Malik... I don't feel so well. I think I have the shivers. Okay, she is going to grab one of these for him, I think. That's how that will work. So make... Oh, we need more wood. Okay. So I've been neglecting to bring back wood. So an armchair. Can't put that anywhere. Guess we'll put that there. Sure. Now, we'll figure out how to heal Malik, hopefully. So we've got this. Um, based on herbs, sometimes sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Better than nothing, and then we also have medications. He is only slightly sick, so maybe we try the herbals with him. And we'll see if we come up with extra news. At the very least, he has news from yesterday that was not that interesting. Uh, that we've had saved up. Okay, and so she can now sit. Oh. Esma, we need to talk. He knows my name. So. I assume it's a friend. Let me know. That looks like a rebel soldier, maybe. Hello, sir. Good day. I just wanted to tell you something. You're going to get raided tonight. Pissing off the army is unwise. Think about it. You don't want a death squad at your door, do you? Hmm. Well, I mean, that's the story of the game, I believe. Uh, okay, so she made the chair. Now she goes and... Uh, oh. Okay. So Malik, you got something to broadcast? You definitely have rubble to clear after the- oh, you're, uh, you can probably clear rubble. Okay, that's- that's like a pretty boring piece of information. That basically just says there's a war happening. FYI. <laughs> okay, so Malik, dig this out, my friend. And we will complete our last day here, guys. We'll do the night, and then we will- we'll probably call our little stream here. Been a fairly productive afternoon. Are you going to take that? How's this gonna work? He's stubborn like a donkey. Both of them are. Oh, they won't take something like... I feel fine. Let's save the meds for later. Okay, that's fine by me. I'm with you. Uh, so you can sleep. You can dig. Until you're tired. And we'll heal up. Tonight we will stand on guard. Aberration is still new to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why you make it. That's why you nuke it, right? Nuke it? No, I don't nuke. I don't nuke anything. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't do that dynamic. People, people gave me a hard time for warming up my coffee in the microwave, so I got an insulated mug so it doesn't go cold. That's the. That's all I do. I have not microwaved coffee in like a year, probably, because people just said, "Ugh, don't do that. You must not like coffee." Well, I like warm coffee. <laughs> Alright, so that is Malik. Hungry, sick, tired. That's it. I think that's the end of our day. Uh, I think that is it. Yeah, let's call it a day. The night. We are going to guard. 
uh, and you can sleep in a bed. And we'll see if this is a little cheaty because I have a feeling this is the day that you got attacked. So we'll find out. Maybe it happens every seven days. Okay, someone came to take our things by force. We were attacked at night. Uh, they really meant business, but we managed to scare them off. Thankfully, we were armed. None of us were wounded. Okay, so that is a little cheaty that I kind of knew that was coming. Does it always happen on the seventh day? If so, we're going to do it again on the 14th, and we won't do it till then. We can't afford. She is now starving. Go eat again. And we need, we need wood on our next journey. But I think we're probably going to save that for here. I don't know when the save game kicks in, actually. So. If I go like this. Okay, I just assume it saves overnight? Po quite possibly. Either way, guys, I'm going to call this my, my first look at um, this war of mine. And at the new stories DLC called The Last Broadcast. Made it through our first week as Malik, the disabled broadcaster. We have spread news about uh, uh, fuel supplies, rations, captured people, coffee prices, all kinds of stuff. And at the same time, Esma has been out in the world, has managed to kill a soldier in hand-to-hand -hand combat and bring back all that information from Malik to broadcast. The game is out in a couple of days. Link in the description. The DLC is very cheap if you own the base game. And the base game is a cheap one, too, if you think that this is up your alley. It is a sort of morose war story. It is not going to be happy. It is not going to be hopeful. But this is about as hopeful as this game gets, it seems. Uh, so I am enjoying it. We're going to maybe play till the end of it. At the very least, we'll be playing tomorrow morning and the next. And um, I am off to spend the rest of my day goofing off with some Ark Survival Evolved stuff in the new DLC. So I will be doing that today, and you guys will get some content on that game as well. Once we are done this, there's a game called Call of Cthulhu I want to try. If you're interested in that, let me know as well. And we will talk, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm UTC, and I will see you potentially in live episode two of This War of Mine, the last broadcast. Love you guys. Thank you to Dynamic and to Lurker for the super chats today. You rule. See you guys later.